Good morning, bro. Who are you? What do you enjoy? What do you not enjoy as much? What makes you excited? What makes you passionate? What do you think about during those times when you you don't really have anything else to think about? Like what consumes your mind? What is something that terrifies you? What is something that preoccupies your mind, whether you want it to or not? What is something that makes you look forward to it happening, whatever it is for you? What is something that no matter what's happening in your life, if you have it in your calendar, you are excited for it? What is something that no matter what is happening in your life, you are dreading? that thing what is something that you do better than anyone else you know what is something that you feel as though you have a unique perspective on that thing what do you feel you do really well what do you feel you do not so well but you feel you have to do it or you're in a job in which you're forced to do it or something like that what is something that makes you really critically analyze it before you do it if you can answer those questions you know yourself pretty well and that's what this video is about is Although I've talked a lot about something that you do or it or whatever, that is a pretty good way of getting to know more about yourself because yourself is one of those things that's pretty hard to define. It's pretty hard to explain. It's pretty hard to grasp the concept of what the self is because it's just one of those things where I can describe myself as a passionate person. But the thing about it is, I'm only passionate about some things. I'm not passionate about everything. So therefore, I can't really describe myself as a passionate person. However, I can answer the questions that I said at the start of this video, where I was asking, like, what's something that makes you look forward to it? For me personally, it's traveling a lot. I love traveling. I also love playing golf at the moment. I love skipping rock, rocks. I love meeting up with friends. I love coffee. Lots of things. But I suppose it's pertinent for my audience when I when answering those questions to, yes, think about the things that you just enjoy, but also to while you're thinking about those things that you enjoy, think about how how can they be greater than just a hobby because I'm all for hobbies I have hobbies I have the hobby of playing golf I have the hobby of skipping rocks I have the hobby of playing basketball all of these things but I know that I'm never going to be a professional golfer I'm never going to be a professional basketball player I'm to be to be fair I'm pretty much a pro rock skimmer at this stage I'm pretty good if you haven't seen that video already but you probably have but when you're thinking about those things the questions that I asked at the start of this video that thing in particular if it's something that repeatedly comes up as in each we'll say positive question as in the thing you enjoy or the thing you're good at if that comes up repeatedly and you enjoy it and it's like you know it's the thing that makes you want to wake up in the morning if you can figure out a way to make that a huge part of your life and even potentially from an artistic slash profitable standpoint and i hate to be the guy you know the fucking oh it's about money bro <laughs> money bro it's all about finances bro like to be honest bro it's just not but however i would much rather do this thing that i love which is literally what i'm doing right here right now speaking to you i love doing this and get paid for doing this as opposed to working in an office that I don't like I don't like the people there I don't like the job I'm doing and that be my source of income I would much rather 
have the combo of doing something like this, what I'm doing here on YouTube, getting maybe 50 views, 100 views if I'm lucky, and then eventually that turning into something that pays my bills, something that enables me to do what I want to do essentially, than sacrifice doing this because, you know, it takes time to record YouTube videos. It takes time to actually sit down and record these videos and then edit them afterwards even though i'm hoping this video isn't gonna take any editing because i'm fucking tired bro it's been a long day but um i would much rather sacrifice a little bit of my time now recording this video and posting it as opposed to not sacrificing this time you know watching something on youtube or watching netflix i just started watching I think it's called The Roman Empire on Netflix. Great show, but and I would rather be watching that right now because it's it's more instantly gratifying. Like I, I feel instantly better while I'm watching that. However, this after I've done after I've recorded and posted this video, I will feel so much better because I know that there is someone watching this video right now who those questions will have sparked something in them where they're like, shit, you know what? Now that he asked me that question, like, what do I look forward to? Now that I think about it, I actually really look forward to doing a bit of writing or painting something or I have a podcast that I enjoy doing or I can't wait to play football at the weekend. That thing that you're thinking about, the thing that you enjoy doing is something that is special to you, unique to you. Now, you I'm not saying it's unique to you as in you're the only person doing it or you're the best person doing it or whatever, but the way you do it is unique to you. And that's contrary to what people might might tell you, especially in the whole you know, red pill sphere, all that. That's actually quite special. That's quite a important thing to realize that the thing that you enjoy doing and the thing that you're decent at, you don't even have to be a master. You don't have to be perfect at it. But that thing that you really enjoy doing, you could do that big time, as in like on a high level, if you chose to do it. But you would have to sacrifice time, probably location, probably finances, probably all the, you know, the instant gratification shit, the swiping on Tinder, the Netflix, the YouTube, the watching Jordan Peterson lectures on YouTube, thinking that you're doing something, but you're not really, you're just kind of binge watching something to make you feel productive, even though they're good for you and they're, it's better than watching something on Netflix, but it's still not really pushing you in the direction that you want to go. And you are in that place right now where you know, you are trying to push the needle. You're not trying to, yes, you're learning and you're finding the balance between learning and doing, but also realistically, if you've watched this far into the video, you are similar to me as in you need to start really pushing the needle and prioritizing pushing the needle over learning, but that's okay. You'll get there. You'll figure it out. But really think about that thing you don't enjoy, the, the thing you do enjoy, but also think about the thing that you don't enjoy because the thing that you don't enjoy, you know those questions I asked at the start of this video, the, that thing that you don't enjoy, the one that kept coming up for you is probably actually a big part of your life and you need to figure out how to completely erase it from your life. And maybe it's erasable. Maybe it's something that has to be in your life and that's fair enough if if that is the case like say for example you might be 17 years old about to go into the leave insert and you have to do your leave insert because you know your parents won't let you drop out and whatever that's fair enough but you can there are so many things that you can either cut out or minimize and you need to figure out how to do that if you want to do the other thing the thing that you love so i'm gonna leave it there bro because that is all that i've got for today so until next time, bro. Mwah.